So here we are, inside one of the soldier huts. Now as you're looking around me, you might think that these huts look a little rough, and they are. I mean, these huts were built quickly, and they were just built for one winter. So they're essentially shacks. Um, but as rough as they might look, they're a huge improvement over what the soldiers experienced when they first came in. Because remember, when the army first marches in on December 19th, 1777, they're basically sleeping on tents, in tents on the ground. And for the first, for most of the soldiers, it's going to take them a while to build these huts. So for the first week or two, many of the men are still sleeping in tents in late December and early January, some of the, during some of the worst parts of this winter. But once they get the huts built, in comparison to a tent, this must have felt like a huge upgrade. I mean, look at this hut for a moment. You have thick walls all around us. They're designed to keep out the rain, the wind, and cold. You have logs that are chinked up in, in between with clay and mud and straw. That's good, thick, solid in, you know, insulation. Just above me, you have a solid roof over your head, shingle to prevent you, the rain and snow from coming in. You're sleeping in a bunk off of the ground. They actually distributed tons of hay to the soldiers so that they could use that hay and straw to stuff mattressing. So you're sleeping on a mattress. In comparison to what the soldiers were used to living in, this was a huge improvement. However, there was a problem. These huts might have been very warm and the uh, and protect you from the wind and the rain and the snow. But they can't protect you from bacteria, can't protect you from vi viruses. Disease could spread like wildfire through one of these huts. Imagine 12 men living in one of these huts. You're malnourished, you're not getting fed properly. The men are outside most of the day, doing various other chores and labor, building more huts, collecting firewood, doing all the other work that's required to keep this army going. They come in at night at the end of the day, overworked and malnourished. One of them starts to sneeze. How long do you think it's going to take before all of them begin to get sick? And that was the real danger here at Valley Forge. These huts can protect you from, you know, from the elements, but nothing was going to save you from disease. And disease was the real enemy here. 